good evening. What you are about to hear is a dramatised audio translation of the events that occurred at 19 Chestnut Street, July 25th, 2018, starting at approximately 9.08pm and ending at approximately 9.27pm. This translation was taken from video surveillance cameras and audio microphones placed in the living area, kitchen, upstairs hallway and master bedroom of the home. Translation goes as follows. 9.08pm Susan Meyer, former lead investigator for the Hamilton Paranormal Research Centre, arrives at the home and enters through the front door. 9.09pm A small manila folder sitting on the coffee table begins to shake and eventually takes flight in the direction of Mrs. Meyer, striking her between the eyes, causing a small cut in her skin and tiny droplets of blood to flow down her face. 9.10 p.m. A large curio cabinet to her right seems to move out by itself about three inches from the wall and crash to the floor in front of her, pitting her between it and the front door, at which time Mrs. Meyer screams, Michael, why are you doing this? 9.11pm. A low humming sound is heard. The volume intensifies and forms into what appears to be a voice saying, This is my house. 9.12pm. All lights under surveillance start turning on and off by themselves, doors opening and closing repeatedly. The front door opens so hard that it strikes Mrs. Meyer in the back knocking her over the broken cabinet and onto the floor, dropping her purse in the process. 9.13pm What appears to be a strong gust of wind blows through the living area, so hard that it knocks over a table lamp and several knick-knacks off the shelves, sending them crashing to the floor below. 9.15pm From the floor, Mrs. Meyer screams, Michael, stop! I know this is your house! I know! Stop! 9.16pm. A small cat enters the frame from the bottom left corner of the screen and immediately flies backwards off screen. The sound of it hitting the wall and scurrying away is heard soon after. 9.18pm. All activity stops. Mrs. Meyer stands grabbing her purse and says, Michael, listen to me. I know you're mad. I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay. I quit my job today to be with you. I want to be with you here in this house. 9.21 p.m. What appears to be a large mass of black fog appears on camera, forming into what looks like a person. 9.22 p.m. Staring directly into the fog, Mrs. Meyer says, Michael, I can finally see you. I love you. I love everything you do for me. And now we'll always be together. 9.24pm. Reaching into her purse, Mrs. Meyer produces a small handgun and places it to her temple. 9.25pm. All video surveillance cameras shut down and lose signal. Only audio remains. 9.26pm. One single gunshot is heard, then the sound of something heavy hitting the floor. 9.27pm. All transmissions are lost. The body of Susan Meyer was found dead after a neighbour called 911 to report what sounded like a gunshot. Officers arrived on the scene to find the house in disarray and Mrs. Meyer's bloody corpse lying on the floor in the living area, the victim of an apparent suicide. The body was taken to the county morgue where cause of death was confirmed. The results for case number 137 are as follows. The home is believed to be completely consumed by a malevolent spirit any further investigation may result in injury and or death of another member of this organisation. I will not take that risk. Case number 137 is now closed and will never be spoke of again. My condolences to the Meyer family. Thank you for your time. David Weinhart, Director of Operations, HPRC. Thank you so much for watching 19 Chestnut Street Part 2, written by Reddit user CreepyGeekster.
Stay tuned for more weird, wacky and wonderful things from this channel. Stay spooky! Stay spooky. Stay spooky.